Okay, so here we're going to talk about a class of differential equations known as exact differential equations. So these are equations of the form AXY plus BXY <coughs> dy dx equals zero. So in fact, every first order differential equation can be put in this form, but these satisfy an additional property, which is d a partial a with respect to y equals partial b with respect to x. So they satisfy this uh, additional quality, and in addition, these partial derivatives are continuous on some rectangle in R2. <clears throat> okay, good. So let's talk about how to solve such a differential equation. So, if you recall from multivariable calculus, so from multivariable calculus, we know that the vector field given by A um, xy bxy um, has something called a potential function um, if this property is satisfied. So has a function so this is called the potential function, but we'll just call it psi of xy such that the gradient of psi, which is equal to this vector field, which is built by the x partial derivative of psi and the y partial derivative of psi is equal to a, b. So I'll suppress the variables in that has a, a function such that that happens um, when uh, this condition is satisfied. So this fact is going to be something really important. And of course, there are some other things that need to be satisfied, like continuity of the partial derivatives over a certain rectangle. But we'll, we'll leave out those necessities. Um, Okay, so good. So since this fact for multivariable calculus is very important, we'll use this to get our solution. So I'll clean up the board and then we'll look at the solution to one of these like um, in general. Okay, good. So now we've uh, already recalled that this condition is equivalent to the following. So having a function psi where the gradient of psi is equal to this vector field built by A and B. So that means we have, so there is a function psi of xy such that the partial of psi with respect to x equals a of xy and the partial of psi with respect to y equals b of xy. So the next thing to do is to claim that the implicit function given by psi of xy equals a constant. So this equals a constant is an implicit uh, way of describing y in terms of x as a solution to this differential equation. And so is um, an implicit description of the solution. Okay, good. So we can prove this fairly easily. And what we want to do is recall that this function psi depends on two variables, x and y, but y depends on x. So now if we're going to use the multivariable chain rule, we can take the derivative of x of both sides of this function, sorry, of both sides of this equation. So the derivative of x of psi x equals the derivative of x of this constant, but that's equal to zero. 
good. And then by the multivariable chain rule, we're going through this tree diagram. So this will give us <coughs> the derivative of psi with respect to x plus the derivative of psi with respect to y times the derivative of y with respect to x. So that'll give us that. So if we look at the left-hand side of the equation, we have this equals zero. But then, by our assumption for multivariable calculus, we know the derivative of psi with respect to x is a, the derivative of psi with respect to y is b, so that gives us a plus b, and then dy dx equals zero. In other words, psi equals a constant was an implicit description of this uh, of a solution to this differential equation. Okay, good. So I'll clean up the board and then we'll look at an example. Okay, so now let's look at this example. So first of all, we'll check that it's exact. So let's check that it's exact. So we need to take the partial with respect to y of sine y. So that's obviously cosine y. And then we need to take the partial with respect to x of x cosine y, so that's also cosine y. So these two are equal, which means that it is an exact differential equation, so check. Okay, good. So, now the next thing we need to do is find some function psi such that the partial of psi with respect to x, so I'll use this different notation here, is sine y and the partial of psi with respect to y is x cosine y. Okay, good. So now we can start with this and take the antiderivative of both sides with respect to x. So that's going to give us the following. That'll give us psi equals x sine y plus h of y, where this is a function of y. So if we take the antiderivative with respect to x, everything with a y in it is a constant, so we know that there is a possibility of having an entire function of y here. Okay, good. So now what we can do is take the partial of this with respect to y and compare it to what we know the partial should be with respect to y. So, if we take the partial of this with respect to y, we'll get x cosine of y plus h prime of y, which equals x cosine of y. Okay, good. So that gives us that h prime of y equals zero, which means that h of y is a constant, which we'll call c zero. Okay, good. So that means our solution is implicitly described by psi equals a constant, so that's x sine y plus c zero, which we got from over there, equals c, which is a constant, but now what we can do is since c0 and c are both arbitrary constants, we can combine them together on the right-hand side of the equation. So that means our solution is implicitly described by x sine y equals a constant. And that will be our final answer.